Hi kids, it's Miss Patty. I have another week of take and make crafts. We are finally back after our construction project. So come on in. We still have our craft to go. And today we're gonna make a paper plate apple. And we're using a great medium. Today we're using fabric scraps. So I started on this one and we're gonna finish it together. So your kit is gonna have a paper plate the green paper is for the leaf, the brown is for the stem, and you have a great bag of multicolor fabric little squares that our staff here has cut. And there's so many fun fall colors. You should have more than enough. Just be careful to, to separate all the squares. Some of them are stuck together. And then all you need at home are scissors and a glue stick. So if you want, before you start gluing, you can kind of look and see if you like all the little fabric squares, but you'll use quite a few of them. And it looks really nice when you put all the colors together. It's like a little fabric quilt. So let me go ahead and I'll show you what we're gonna do to get started. So let's take your fabric squares off the plate. And the first thing you wanna do is just cut off just a little bit of the top of the plate to give it more of an apple shape. The bottom I left, but you know how the, the top indents where the stem comes out. So that's what we're gonna do. And you can just go down in a curve and then just come back up. And all apples are different. So you just, there's no right or wrong. So just like that, it's sort of a soft heart how it comes together like that. So this piece you can throw out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is start laying out our fabric squares. Don't put glue on the whole thing at once and I definitely do suggest a glue stick. The you know liquid glue is just gonna get a little too messy and it might soak through the fabric. So let's dump these off. And so I glued a lot of this down. I have a few little openings left and you can see what I do when I get towards the edge. I just overlap it and we're gonna cut all of that off. So we just have a few more pieces here. And also you can cut these pieces smaller if you wanna add a little bit more red and just take every single piece. I like gluing where I'm gonna put it. So I don't put the glue on the back of the fabric. I put it down on the plate. Let's see, maybe a little bit more red. And you can cut these if you don't like the shape. Also though, don't forget, there's gonna be a lot of overlapping, but in case you want a few little pieces somewhere on the plate, we'll put a couple extra red ones. So apples can be all kinds of colors, right? We have green, we have red, we have some orange, we have some yellow. So this has all of the colors on it. If you wanna do something different and you want your apple to be all one color, maybe you can cut some paper at home or you can just color the paper plate as well. I just think using the, the fabric is, is nice because we don't get to do that that often. But since we had time for the closure, I thought we would cut all of this fabric. If any little pieces of the fabric are sticking up, that's when you can just go behind with the glue stick and press them down. You can have a little bit of the paper plate showing or just take a little piece of fabric and cover it up. So we'll just put a little fabric right there. So you're done when you feel like it's covered as much as you want. Before we add on the stem and the leaf, let's go ahead and flip it over and we're gonna cut along the edge of the plate as close as you can. Even if you get a little bit of the plate, that's quite all right. Just get rid of the scraps to get that nice round apple shape. A little 
little bit more glue right here. So let's put that on the plate, press it down. Let's turn it back over and cut it. tries in the curve and then go back again make sure it's all stuck down on the plate if you have any pieces sticking up just put a little glue there that looks really good I love it so now let's take your apple stem and I would say you could put that about right there you can put it straight up we can put it off to the side and then let me show you how we're gonna make a leaf so it's a square piece of paper why don't you just fold it right in half going down the long ways and we're just gonna cut a curve, right? And then when you open it up, it'll be a leaf. So we're gonna start at the folded edge and go out. That way it'll be symmetrical. So let's start at the corner. Just work your way to the other corner. That is a cute little leaf. And we'll just glue those right to the back of the plate. So get your glue stick back out. You do about that much for the back of the plate. Okay. And the same, just do the bottom of the leaf. Put those on an angle right underneath there. Okay, so we're gonna kind of layer them a little bit. I'm gonna put the leaf on the stem. Want that popping out a little bit more. So cute. I love it. This is your mosaic paper plate apple. So stop by the library today and pick one up all goes well we should be opening up this friday and i'll have this out through the whole following week so stop in the library and see what's new we have our story times opening up and if you are my fans of collecting erasers from spotting the fox all summer come in and sign up for pet habitat it's a little pod for your favorite eraser and you get to take it home and make it your own little eraser habitat. What would you think your eraser would like to live in? Use all the supplies you have at home, and then you get to bring it back, and I'm gonna put it in the display case for the whole month of November. So I have a couple samples over by the craft. So stop in today and pick up your pet habitat. And we're so happy to have you back at the library. Stop in and say hi. Bye for now.